for this particular exhibit, it's one of the first exhibits visitors will arrive at at the aquarium. So we really wanted to start on a really kind of a, a wow. And the Indo Pacific Reef is one of the most biodiverse habitats in the ocean. And most people, when they go to the beach on their summer vacation, they look out. They really don't know exactly all the habitats that are out there, all the fish that are migrating up and down the coast. We want to expose people to this underwater world. The one thing we do is we really look at the really detailed assemblage of the reef. There's coral that would be growing closer to the surface in certain clusters. We have at least 100 species of coral represented in the exhibit. We've done a pretty good job of taking photographs of the real thing and recreating it. So the process of making this habitat, we uh, do a clay model. We then have to start building the full scale. So we have to build all these ridges of coral um, off site. And all these panels are actually made of, uh, first of all, fiberglass molded over a styrofoam that's been sculpted into the shape. So piece by piece gets lowered into the tank, assembled, and then we have to have all the seams connected in the tank. So it's uh, quite a process. We find that if we make it exactly like the real habitat, the fish basically live just like they would in the real habitat. To them, it's physical structure, it's the shape, they relate to it. The thing that's unique about this exhibit is that we'll have 20 black tip reef sharks. They're a shark that's social, they form social bonds. It does get a little frenzied when the sharks are feeding, so we have to sort of break them up. So we actually do target training for the sharks that sort of get them to know what feeding time is. It's sort of the equivalent of 20 dogs that are gonna be fed at the same time. You would not wanna have just one dog bowl. You wanna have four separate stations for feeding. Calypso is a green sea turtle. Now, Calypso was an animal that was actually a rescue animal for us. She had some netting around one of her front flippers, which cut off the blood flow. So unfortunately, she had an infection in a flipper once we removed that marine debris. We unfortunately had to amputate one of her front flippers. She was an animal that really couldn't be released, but she really is an animal that um, the visitors, when they see her come up for a breath right in front of them, um, really are, are amazed at her just size and beauty. So it's, it's just like that opportunity if you were able to travel to the, one of these habitats. Um, the biggest joy I get out of it is seeing kids and families. They're just like, holy cow, look at this.